Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and ohio everybody. What is going on? It is Gail right here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Danmachi Battle Chronicle video. And today, I wanted to go over the five most important things I would like to see from the game before it even launches on August 24th. Now, of course, these things can be done in either gameplay trailers or live streams, but I would like to see these five things in more detail before the game even launches. So, of course, if you guys want to enjoy this video and you like the things I mentioned, please be sure to leave a like down below below subscribe to the channel for more danmachi battle chronicle content we are going to be ramping up the content like i said i'm going to be uploading a video every other day on danmachi battle chronicle and let me know in the comment section down below what are the most important things you would like to see from the game before it launches it can be something like summons it can be something like characters whatever it may be let me know in the comment section down below i'm very curious to see what you guys have to say down below in the comments now when it comes to me right i'm very straightforward when it comes to what i would like to see we've seen enough gameplay we've seen the battle royale mode enough i know that that's sort of like one of the selling points of the game but we've seen those enough i want to see some of the other things now and especially with the changes that they have made to the game i want to see certain things and the first thing i want to see is the dupe system now this is something that i don't think they'll show off at all to be quite honest before the launch of the game but if they do this is one of the things i would like to see the most this is 100 one of the things i'd like to see the most because when we played the closed beta test right as you can see i'm over there on the left hand side of the screen right now you as you can see over there um we had a completely different rarity system in the closed beta test uh srs were one star ssr was two star S uh, urs were three stars that was the way it was basically now they've converted of course to the sr ssr ur system but in the closed beta test it was a one star two star and three star system and as you can see right here by your screens right now in the closed beta test basically to get a unit from two star to three star you'd use dupes and then three star to four star would be dupes again and so on and so forth right so basically, the dupes were used to increase your increase your rarity effectively. That, that, that's what it was. And with the higher rarity you'd go and the more you'd limit break, the more you can uncap your skills as well. Um, so obviously, this was something that we kind of uh, didn't get a chance to see at all with the updated SR, SSR, UR system because, well, we didn't get access to that system. And then, of course, afterwards, Hololive and also um, Niji Sanji, when they recorded their uh, versions of the game, gameplay and they were promoting the game they didn't show any of the dupe systems unfortunately as you can see right here um you can use these extra materials as well to uncap and uh dupe out a character but like like you see there you need 10 coins effectively for a character to go from three star to four star and if i recall correctly somebody who was playing the beta alongside me and actually had enough dupes because i didn't get enough dupes my luck with the three stars slash urs in this case were was horrible i didn't get dupes at all basically i was getting ridiculously unlucky with the banners but they said that basically to go from four star to five star it was 10 coins as well so it's going to be interesting to see how they're going to call it is it going to be like turs lrs like how it is in like dokkan battle or is it going to be like you are plus you are plus plus or is it going to be like you are one star you are two stars something like that i don't know it's gonna it go, it's gonna be something because i don't think they're gonna drastically change the dupe system but if they do it'll be very interesting to see what they change it to and that's the reason why i actually want to see um what they're gonna change in terms of the dupe system how are they gonna modify it how are they going to update it but as you can see right there, one of the things that they sh uh, shared with the dupe system, I was hoping that I'd show the book screen, but it doesn't seem like I am in this video. But as you can see, under the two star to three star uh, bar on the very top, right, you can see that there's level five, level five, level five. That's basically signifying that if you uh, rank up or you uh, limit break a character, the skill levels will uncap. So at two stars, you can only level up your skills to level three uh and at three stars you can level it up to level five and so on and so forth so that's one of the things that i would say is very important for us to see before the game launches because it gives us an idea on how the dupe system will work do i think we will see it probably not but would it be nice to see it absolutely freaking -lutely. so that's the first thing i would like to see from the game all right let's move on to the second thing i would like to see from the game and the next thing i would like to see is the battle pass now this is one of those things that i don't mind actually waiting till launch to see 
but it would be kind of nice to get an idea on how the battle pass will work especially because you know with how battle passes are in gacha games especially it's a little bit tricky to see whether they're any good or bad because sometimes i feel like battle passes end up being worthless but sometimes they end up being really really valuable like for example genshin and honkai impact for me personally i think they're super valuable in all honesty but then if i look at another game maybe like say for example i think it was um i think it was one of the korean gacha games i don't remember which one but there was one korean gacha game which had a uh battle pass and i was like nah it just ain't it i think it was based on webtoons i don't remember the name of the gacha game somebody can remind me in the comment section if you guys do know what i'm referring to but i think that sort of battle pass just doesn't work for me because i feel like it's not really that worth it and especially because of course getting to the end of the battle pass is very difficult in those games whereas genshin and honkai it's pretty smooth and very straightforward as long as you do your dailies as long as you do the events and stuff you get to the end so that's something that i'm very interested to see on how they're gonna exactly work on it in this game especially because of course if you guys didn't know there is actually a battle pass i don't know if you guys didn't know or not know of course i covered it when i was going through all these live streams and stuff um but if you look on the left hand side i think the ticket thing right there right the uh small tickets thing right here the fourth one on the left hand side fourth from the top it is a battle pass button so it's going to be very interesting to see what exactly um they cook with the battle pass and i'm very interested to see it before the game launches to see if it's any worth it and would i recommend it to players when the game does launch of course right so that is the second thing i would like to see from the game of course a bit of a minor thing but it would be very very nice to see what they will show us now you might be thinking that oh am i going to talk about familiars here do i want to see familiars in more detail not really no the reason why i've come to this screen primarily is because one familiar is in japanese the second one is of course in english now the thing we don't know about this game yet is how the server system is going to work is it a universal server is it something you choose when you get into the game and you load in and the third being is it different apps for each game kind of like for example how Don Mimo does it right so na has its own app eu has its own app jp has its own app and so on and so forth now i don't think it's the third one the third one does seem unlikely because if you look at any of the apks and stuff like that the pre-registration tabs and stuff they're all the same numbers and stuff so it's not different apps it doesn't seem to be different apps whatsoever so the other alternative is that it's one of the first two that i mentioned either it's a universal server or it's a thing where you choose when you get into the game you can choose like oh are you in the global server na server whatever it may be right you choose the server you're in now i think it will be the first one to be quite honest e even though that is probably the most optimistic one i think it's also the most likeliest one because if you get into the game right in the closed beta test we didn't have any of these options if you look any of the recent footage as well when the when you get into the loading screen and everything there's no option to choose a server per se so i don't think it's going to be a thing where you choose the server you choose the region or whatever it may be i think you'll just get into the game and you'll join everybody else and this familiar image as well of having both an english one and the Jap japanese one makes me believe that we will be able to play with other players from other regions as well at the same time which will be fantastic it's something that games like dragon ball legends and stuff have adopted but the thing is right what they have done as well is if you want to play with people in your region you will play with people in your region primarily it's very very rare that you will connect for with somebody from like say for example from the uk to japan in dragon ball legends it's very very unlikely it can happen but it's very unlikely because in order to reduce lag they try and go for uh, people near you primarily and i think if battle chronicle adopts something similar it'll be absolutely fine because of course i know a lot of people will be worried about oh if it's a th uh, the same server for everybody what's going to happen with the lag and everything right because of course if i connect to a player in japan uh big issues big big issues and i mean you guys have seen me play the play the closed beta test right if you watched my videos you watched the battle royale mode you guys know that there is some lag there so i think uh you know if we can actually see um you know play that the player connections are within the same regions and stuff that would be fantastic so i do believe that it will be the same server but we need to get confirmation on that and i would love to see them there being some sort of confirmation from the battle chronicle team that you know it is going to be the same server and in fact one second you know what i'm gonna do let me see i want to see if they reply to me i'm gonna be curious let's see battle chronicle don crow en um and let's go over here so they've uh, they've dropped this right i want to ask them hey will 
there be only one server for all players or will it be individual servers slash regions it would be truly appreciated if you could answer this there we go so let's ask them the question if they respond fantastic if they don't respond it's all well and good we will we will see what happens later down the line but i'm gonna uh do i'm just gonna do this um so so that so uh, let, let me just add one more thing so i uh in the uk can connect to a player in usa in the us or japan or will it be in the yeah there we go so let's see what they respond to it if they respond to it well fantastic if they don't it's all well and good i'm not too fussy about it because we'll find out closer to the release of the game anyways i hope so at least fingers crossed um so that's point number one from this video the second thing i would like to see more of which we haven't is pc gameplay of course we've seen controller um gameplay here clearly right um but i want to see proper pc gameplay the, so far it seems like they've only shown us mobile gameplay and not actual pc gameplay so i need to actually see some more pc gameplay and actual proper pc gameplay because what we've seen so far of course while it does seem like we, this is pc I, I assume it's pc um because of course we're using uh we're running with uh controller and everything it could also just be a controller connection to a mobile device which i don't know if they confirmed if there's controller support on mobile actually i don't think they have so this has to be pc is my guess but um it's gonna be very interesting to see more pc gameplay because i would like to see like oh how does it look is this actually how it looks like can we adjust settings can we make it look a little bit better and stuff like that of course it'll just help out massively and furthermore it'll uh, one more thing that i'd like to see from the pc version of the game is it going to be on steam is it going to have its own launcher what is going to be the case there right um because i don't mind necessarily for either or to be quite honest i don't mind it being on steam or on p uh, you, you know its own launcher i play genshin honkai these are these have its own launchers bleed brave souls is on steam it doesn't really matter too much but of course you know if it's on steam there's more eyes on the game right more people will know that the game is available for people to play right so automatically putting it on a popular launcher is going to be a better idea purely because you'll have more players potentially playing the game and trying out the game for themselves right so we'll have to wait and see on that front fingers crossed it is on steam because just more makes it more popular um allowing more people to play the game which is what i want to see happen rather than it being on its own launcher and you know you having to go out of your way to find the launcher and stuff right which obviously fans of the game and stuff like that fans of the series will do anyways but of course being able to actively play the game and actively you know look for the game on steam will be amazing i don't know why i have my fingers crossed still but yes i would like to see that more so um so that's number uh point number four pc release i need to see more of it i need it desperately i very much so need it in my life um the last thing and the primary thing i want to see in terms of game modes i'm not talked about game modes that much to be honest a majority of what i've said has been pretty much stuff like uh you know oh dupe system PC release, battle pass, all that jazz. It's a lot of menuing of, of what I've asked. Menuing and just general game knowledge. But now I want to see more about a game mode. I want to see more about a game mode. Now this is the 3v3 game mode. I call it 3v3. It's not really a real 3v3 as in three players versus three players it's one player versus one player but it's three characters versus three characters okay it is a 3v3 i'm calling it a 3v3 i don't know what any why anybody else would call it a 1v1 or something it's a 3v3 three characters versus three characters okay somebody really frustrated me saying that last time around i think it was uh, i don't remember where it was but somebody said that oh it's a 1v1 who calls it a 3v3 my guy, it's three characters versus three characters. I don't know what you want from me. All right, I don't know what you want from me. Um, but yes, um, I want to see more about this, especially because, of course, this is an auto battle mode, by the way. You don't control any of the characters. You have no absolute knowledge of what the ai will do at least at least in my personal opinion based on what i've seen it doesn't seem that way but if there is a way to control the ai and have knowledge on what they're gonna do i'm curious to see what that is now of course if we take a look at um i'm gonna uh, close this actually and go over to bleach brave souls brave battle 
Now, this is a, a very similar um, sort of thing, basically. So if you take a look at uh, Aaron, uh, Aaron Nero, uh, I think it's his video quickly, sorry. Um, if you take a look at his video, right? And you see, so this is exactly how it works in uh, Bleach Brave Souls. Now, remember, Danmachi Battle Chronicle was also co-developed by K-Lab. It's not just Aiming Inc. K-Lab also helped develop uh, Danmachi Battle Chronicle. So... If we are going to get something similar to this, right, where you obviously have your units right here, your three units right here, you can choose from the opponents right here. Um, you can do the settings, the armors, the, uh, uh, you know, accessories and stuff. But if you go into the fight, right, you can see that it is basically an auto battle. I mean, obviously, he just absolutely demolished Lucas entirely, bro. The, Lucas had nothing left, bro. He had nothing left. But basically, you just absolutely let the characters do their own thing and you see what happens, right? So I think it's going to be something similar to that. But what is it? What is, what's going to happen, right? Is, is it going to be you're going to be able to change your strategy? Yeah, will you be attack focused, special arts focused? What's it going to be? Um, will you be able to choose your opponents um, or is it going to be... Uh, something where it's like a ladder where you automatically jump jump into a ladder like war games for example in Danmachi memoria freeze so it's going to be very interesting to see what it's exactly going to be like and i want to see more i want to see more because we haven't seen enough all we got was these two images during the live stream before launch the original launch live stream that we, we got um this this was shown off and you know they said that oh this is what we're doing. We, you'll see more later. Um, so I'd like to see more because we haven't seen enough, to be quite honest. We haven't seen enough at all. Um, we've barely seen anything, to be quite honest. So definitely, definitely, one. Uh, that's one of those things that I would like to see the most. So those are the five things I would like to see. To reiterate what I would like to see, the dupe system. I want to see the battle pass. I want to see the server side of things. I want to see the... Um, I want to see the PC gameplay. And I want to see... The 3v3 game mode i want to see more details on it so i can tell if it's good fun bad what can they do to improve it and stuff like that but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know what you guys would like to see in the comment section down below as well before launch of course if you enjoyed this video remember to leave a like down below subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next one until then take it easy everybody Bye bye